In this video, we are going to have a look at how to work with hyperlinks inside Microsoft Excel. Our starting point can be an empty cell, or it can be a cell that already contains some information, such as um, visit the BBC website. The reason why that doesn't matter will become apparent when I open up the hyperlink dialog box. So we choose the cell that we want to add the hyperlink to, in this instance A2, and then we do insert hyperlink. Incidentally, everything to do with hyperlinks can also be done using the right menu, hyperlink, and there's also an icon on the toolbar. I'm going to do insert hyperlink. And that brings up this hyperlink, insert hyperlink dialog box. And there's four tabs down the left hand side, and we're going to have a look at two or three of these. The first one says existing file or web page, and this is what allows us to link to uh, the internet or a document on your computer. Going top to bottom, you can see it says text to display, visit the BBC website. It picked this information up from this cell. But we can edit it here. I can change this and it will automatically update the information that's in this cell. So that's why I can start from a blank cell because whatever I want to go into that cell, I can type into this box. I'm going to leave that as visit the BBC website. Now you'll be aware that when you hover over a hyperlink, you often get a screen tip pop up, a little yellow box that gives you a little bit more information. That's called a screen tip, and we can use this button here to add that screen tip. We just click the button and type in the information that we want to appear. And then click on OK. So, we want to go to the BBC website. When we hover over, we will get that screen tip saying BBC website. Now, how do we tell it? Well, we can use this system here to perhaps find internet pages that we've recently browsed to. Or we can click on there to search the internet to allow us to find that web page. But if you already know the web address, we can type it in directly to this address box down here. And then click on OK. You'll see now our writing has changed to a hyperlink. When I hover over that with my mouse, I get the, the usual hand sign that says that we've got a hyperlink. Notice the little yellow tooltip, screen tip that's popped up that says BBC website. BBC website. And when we click there, our internet browser will be opened. at the BBC website. Close that down. That's fairly straightforward. We select a cell. Insert hyperlink. So we link there and you can see this time we've got no text to display because there was nothing in this box. We link there to the internet simply by typing the web address into there. But we can also link to documents. For example, let's put in here Open Torchwood Invoice. Because the Torchwood Invoice is a document that I've already got on the computer. So I can scroll down here and find the Torchwood Invoice. And you can see the address there. It's not a www address, but it is the address, it's the location of where that document is. I can use a screen tip. Just put Torchwood and OK. So now we'll link into an existing file. I've located the file in the current folder, but I can go to a recent file list or I could use these navigation tools along the top here to find the file from the folder that, that I need. There's the document selected, puts the address into there, click OK. And there's now a hyperlink to the Torchwood invoice. Again, if I hover over it, it pops up and says Torchwood. Click on it, and it opens up the Torchwood invoice. So hopefully you're getting to see how easy 
hyperlinks are to use, but also how um, valuable they can be. We can also do different types of hyperlinks. Let's have a look again. Insert hyperlink. That's looking at an existing file or a web page. We can go to places in the current document. So if I click on this button, it brings up all the worksheets that are in your workbook. And it also links to named cells. If you haven't looked at the video of named cells, then you can ignore this bit for now. But if you have, you'll understand that you can name cells instead of A1. You can name them something. And this picks up those names. So let's jump to um, the text worksheet. And it says the text to display is putting that information there. And it will automatically jump to cell A1 unless you tell it otherwise. So I want to go to cell A20. So let's just change that. I'm not going to change this and put a screen tip on. You know how they work now. Click on OK. And there we have a hyperlink to the text worksheet, cell A20. Let's click on it. And there we've jumped to the text worksheet, cell A20. Now you should notice as you start using hyperlinks that you get the web toolbar appear. If you don't, you can switch that on using view toolbars web. But I've got it, so that's really great. And the reason I like this is because once I've used a hyperlink to jump somewhere, I can then use the back button to go back to the worksheet that I was currently on. Let's have a look at another insert hyperlink. So we've looked at existing files and web pages, places in this document. We can create brand new documents or we can link to an email address. And here let's just put my email address in. If I start typing my email address, you'll notice that it's appended to that mail to. That happened automatically. You don't need to type that in. Just type the email address that you want. This is who the email is going to go to. And if, you, if you've been using something like Outlook, recent email addresses will appear there. So you can just select them from there. But I've typed in the email address. Let's put the subject line in there as well. Notice that information is appearing in the text to display. Let's change that and make it just say, please email Ron. Oops. Click on OK. You see the text there says, please email Ron. If I click on there, it will open up Outlook or whatever your email client is. Outlook Express, for example. Uh, can even open up Gmail if you've got, or Google Mail, if you've got your computer set up correctly. But it's opened up an email message. It's filled in for me who it's going to and the subject. So you could just type in the information there and click on send. So that's hyperlinks. Easy to use. Insert hyperlink and just dial up your preferences. But we can make modifications, for example, um, if you right click on the cell that contains a hyperlink, you can use the right click menu to edit the hyperlink or open the hyperlink. I'm going to click on edit, which basically just takes us back to the same dialog box and we can make modifications. And if we want to remove the hyperlink altogether, then we can click the remove link button. That cell has now been converted to simply text. There's no hyperlink there. So I was selecting the cell and right clicking or just bring up the dialog box, the insert hyperlink dialog box and make your modifications. Remove the link and that hyperlink's now gone. Hyperlinks.